Hello, 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 people. The most stop-start series on FM YouTube is back with episode 6 of Bubbles on the Rise. And what an episode it should be as we're looking for revenge against Liverpool for the FA Cup final from last season when Gerrard and co broke all West Ham hearts by winning the FA Cup on penalties despite having been down twice in that game. And as far as this season goes, we've played six games off camera since the last video. And in those games, we've won two, drawn two, and yep, you guessed it, lost two. Which means that today's game is a big one, as we are somehow still fourth in the league, while Liverpool are right behind us in fifth. So with only four games left in the league, surely we can't let another massive achievement slip against Liverpool. So now, let's get into the team seat for today's massive game. Come on you Irons! Here's the team for today's game. We've got Robert Green in goal, Koncheski at left back, Ferdinand and Gabidon are our two central defenders for today, Tyrone Mears at right back, and then in the middle, it's Nigel Rio Coca alongside Lee Bowyer. Javier Maserano's got a little bit of a knock, so I'm not going to be playing him today. And then up top, we've got Matthew Everington on the left, Yossi Benayoun on the right. And then up top, it is the absolute dream team of Dean Aston and Carlos Tevez. And on the bench, you'll recognise a new name, or you might not recognise it, but we signed a keeper in January. I forgot to mention him in the last video, but this is him, Marco Emilia, just come in as a backup keeper. We paid 425 grand, so a bit of a bargain, I think, for him. He's only played once. He's had a couple of injuries already since we've had him. So might see how he gets on. Might play him next season if this series carries on for another series. I've got an idea I want to run past you guys at the end of this video. So please do keep watching. But yep, that is the only transfer I've made during this whole series. And so... I think that's a pretty decent team. I think we can beat Liverpool with that team. Let's go and get into the game and find out. Apparently, according to the bookmakers, we're the favourites for this game. Not quite sure I've ever known us to be favourites against Liverpool in any game in my lifetime. But let's hope the bookies have got it right. Come on, into the dressing room we go, boys. Oh my days, guys. Let's have a look at this Liverpool team. Peter Crouch and Dirk Kite up top. Definitely going to be playing some high balls, I think they're going to be. Harry Kuehl on the left. Zabi Alonso and Gerrard. Oh, what a midfield pairing that is. Daniel Agger and Sammy Huppia at the back for them. And Jose Reina as well, who's a keeper I always liked. It's going to be tough, but... I fancy us today. Come on, let's go and see. What do I say to the boys? You know what I'm going to be saying, don't you? Let's go assertive. Uh, I'm going to say for this bit, go out there, give these fans their money's worth. That never really works. Why does that never work? I don't know, but now you know what I'm going with. And it's not working all that well. Ooh. About half the team haven't really paid any attention. That's not good. Okay, first game back after a couple of weeks off. What do we say, boys, for the prediction? I'm going to go... Nervy, dodgy, 2-1 win. We get the revenge we want. Come on, you irons. 15 minutes into the game, Liverpool with the first highlight and Xabi Alonso crosses it in and Peter Crouch heads the ball over the bar. 35 minutes in now, finally another highlight. The ball gets thrown to Boya who's in a lot of space but wastes his time, goes to Coca, back to Boya, to Rio Coca. Rio Coca into Lee Boya again, out wide, goes to Ben Ayoun, and then Tyrone Mears with it. Into Benayoun. And we're keeping the ball nicely here. Trying to make a chance. Aston's in the box. But the ball goes away to Reina. And now it's going to be Liverpool on the counter. P. 
Peter Crouch trying to run away from his man. Come on, Mears, get the ball back. He doesn't. Goes to Aurelio. Aurelio's in space. He might have a dig here. He's thinking about it, but nope, he just goes to Luis Garcia. His shot is blocked, but only falls to Stevie G. Xabi Alonso out wide. Green with the ball. Come on, let's get it back. Nope, Garcia in the middle. Into Gerard in space, and Gerard. It's almost a carbon copy of his goal in the FA Cup final. It was always going to be Gerard today, wasn't it? Oh, my God. Yes. Again, we've not learnt from last year. We've given him way too much space. And well, Gerard, he doesn't miss from there, does he? Five minutes left in this first half. Tyrone Mears to Lee Boya. Tries to play it through, but Aga intercepts. And now Alonso with a long pass goes straight to Peter Crouch. Peter Crouch goes all the way back and it's only gone to Tevez. Tevez is in. Tevez has equalised. West Ham are level. Carlos Tevez with his 19th of the season. And what a goal out of nowhere that is. Peter Crouch realising he should be playing in the claret and blue with a beautiful assist for Tevez. And Tevez was never going to make a mistake with that now, was he? Oh, I thought the first half was done, but apparently not. As now, oh, we've got the ball back again. Aston's nicked it, and Aston is running. He's got Tevez with him. He's played it to him. Tevez is in space, and Tevez with the shot, but it's been saved by Reina and gone out for a corner ball. Come on. Come on, West Ham. Everington with the ball. Crosses it in. Gerard heads away. Green heads away, sorry. And now Everington with it. Is he going to cross it in again? Nope. Goes to Rio Coca. We've got a man in space. Everington plays it to Rio Coca, who goes for the shot. And oh, we've almost taken the lead there. We've got another corner ball. Could we somehow take an unlikely lead into half time? Everington, this time with an outswinger. And it goes out. And I think that's going to be half time. As yep, indeed it is. And what an end to that first half. First half an hour, not a whole lot happening. But it all kicked off after Gerard's goal. He gave them the lead. Tevez has equalised. And by those stats, we've been the better team. We might still win this. You never know. And now let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. We've been the better team here. Just keep doing what it is you're doing. And come on, assertive, you weren't that bad. Why is nobody listening to me? Come on, lads. Anyway, second half, my prediction for 2-1 is still on. Come on, you irons. First highlight of the second half, Alonso with a corner ball. And it just gets caught nice and easy by Rob Green. And now Rob Green, what's he going to do with the ball? He's gone out wide, goes to Matty Everington. And Everington, he could beat his man here, but he doesn't. Alonso now with the ball. We know what he can do with his long-range passes. But he's gone short to Crouch. Back to Xabi Alonso. To Green. Liverpool keeping the ball. Playing it round us nicely, but we've won it back. Tevez is in. Tevez, can he give us a lead? Why has he tried to square it there? But thankfully he has. Dean Aston gives West Ham the lead. With his 14th of the season. Dino Aston. What a strike that was. Thankfully, Tevez proved me to be an absolute idiot. I should never question the legend. I think he's tried to cross it, but it's been deflected into Dean Aston. So a little bit of luck there, but we deserve it after the cup final last year. And now let's go and make some changes. Benny Yoon, I don't think, has done a whole lot today. No, he's on a 6.8. So we're going to chuck Stanislas on for him. And then do we bring Mullins on for either Boya or Coca? I think we bring him on in place of Lee Boya. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go with that. And we're going to try and see this game through. Drop down to positive. Come on, West Ham. 20 minutes left in the game. 
Jose Reyna with the ball. He plays it out wide, but only goes to Stanislas, who knocks it down to Aston. I think Tevez is offside, but he's gone for the shot. And, oh, no, it wasn't offside. And Aurelio's almost put it into his own net there. Come on, come on. 20 minutes left to hold on. What a win this would be. 13 minutes left. Paul Koncheski with the ball. Throws it into Tevez, into Paul Koncheski. He's crossed it in. Everington is in loads of space there, but his shot's been saved. But it only goes away again, but we keep the ball. Yes, lads. There it is. The full-time whistle has just gone. We've won the game. Two goals to one. Tevez and Aston with the goals for us. We had 12 shots with 11 on target, compared to their 18 with 8 on target. We absolutely dominated possession, 61% of it there. Let's go into the team talk, and let's go passionate. A very nice victory, well done. And then let's see where that leaves us as far as the league table is looking with now three games left to go in this season. The league table's looking like this. We're still fourth in the league. We're now four points away from Liverpool. And what's that? Six points away from Tottenham. So it's definitely ours to lose. Let's have a look at who we've got left. And well... We could pretty much knock Tottenham out of the Champions League race in the next game. I'm not sure. Do I bring you that game? Do we do a do we do a weird double header next time out and bring you Tottenham and Middlesbrough? No, no, you know what we're gonna do? Two more episodes in this season. We're gonna do Tottenham. In the next episode. And then last game of the season. Middlesbrough. So that's the plan. Next episode of this will be either Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Something like that. So just keep an eye on my Twitter. Which I'll tell you the details of in a second. Keep an eye out on there. And also the Kings Lynn series as well. That's going to be back some point next week. Again keep an eye on the Twitter. It's, oh, I'm still trying to figure things out with this channel and the second channel, how to balance everything. So just keep an eye on the Twitter and you'll find out when videos are out. Or even better, if you're new, subscribe down below and hit that bell button so you get a notification when a video's out. That's the best way to do it and that helps the channel out. And so, yep guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. And like I say, subscribe to the channel, smash that bell button, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. And as well, if any of you are wrestling fans, please do check out my new second channel, Mayday Gaming. I've got a Total Extreme Wrestling series going on over there where I'm in charge of the WWE. So please do check that out. I'll link to that channel down below and you'll be seeing the thumbnail for that series about now. And as well as that, check out all the Passion for FM lads. They're all phenomenal lads. Check them all out and check the website out. Esprin has got some cracking articles on his website. So please do go and check it out. And yep guys, that's enough waffling from me for one day. I shall see you next time. See you later. Bye.